Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about stream tokenizer. It is similar to string tokenizer except some small differences. We are going to see about the fields and methods used in stream tokenizer and with an example program, we are going to see how to accept a file and then count number of tokens and display it on the screen. When to use stream tokenizer? So you already seen string tokenizer where you are going to get the input from the file line by line and then count the tokens in each line and then add it on and then you will be displaying on the screen. Here able to detect the end of file without having to know in advance either the number of lines in the input file. So you no need to know the number of lines in the file as well as replay, relying on the special symbols or to indicate the end of file that is blank line will be the end of file right you know when you use uh, string tokenizer you will check for eof that is end of file uh, to stop the while loop here you no need to use that okay so in this case you are go you're going to use stream tokenizer able to process a file token by token rather than a line at a time so in string tokenizer that is the difference between string and stream tokenizer in string tokenizer you will be taking line by line and then count the tokens okay here you are going to uh, take a file and then count start counting token by token at the whole that is uh, the, uh, that full file will be taken on the whole and it will count the number of tokens then and then it will uh, do the manipulation now you can see that uh, there are some uh, fields and methods used in stream tokenizer a stream tokenizer takes an input stream and passes into tokens allowing the tokens to be read one at a time so it will take the whole file into the input stream that is it may be uh, it is an input stream where you are going to break that into tokens and then you are going to count one by one okay so here there are some uh, fields used like data types in java program you are going to use some fields for stream tokenizer nval is numeric val and then you can see string sval and then you can see integer tt eof so this uh, this statement okay which will be used to check whether that uh, program is at the end of the file that is you are going to check when to stop okay so once it reaches tt eof so, and notice that it is an integer type that means it will return an integer value most probably it will be minus 1 because you will be starting from 0 you keep on counting the uh, number of tokens once it becomes end of the file it, it returns the minus one once it returns minus one then you are going to stop the uh, program right so then you got the eol that is end of line then uh, tt number uh, it will check where the number and then tt word so these uh, that is word is nothing but string okay these are these uh, fields available and t type okay what type of token it is okay these are some of the fields used and some of the methods used you can see public uh, string uh, stream tokenizer read r it is an object next token same like string tokenizer where you use next token here also you can use uh, next token method now you are going to see a program you are going to take same like uh, string tokenizer here you are going to take the file okay you can uh, you can accept a file which is already existing and then you are going to count number of tokens till it reaches the end of the file and then finally you are going to display it on the screen so let's see what is the difference between both the programs so in string tokenizer you know, tokenizing with file handling and this stream tokenizer with file handling you are going to see what is the difference and then you can select where you are whichever program you want now the first two lines are similar you are going to import uh, bo Im import both java.io and java.util package we, we know why it is and then stream token uh, you see class name here and then you got public static void main throws io exception and then you can see uh, you, you, uh, you would have seen the two lines so you are merged i merged into single line okay uh, stream tokenizer st equal to new stream tokenizer and then paran within parenthesis new file reader within parenthesis you can see the file name to make you understand not only text file you can also count the number of tokens available in other files i have included a java file right so maybe a program right so you're going to count all the tokens in the program that is it may be an operator it may be uh, it may be a class name it may be a function name it may be an uh, parenthesis so all the uh, symbols and uh, alphabets that is uh, strings 
and numbers everything is calculated okay and then it will uh, keep on adding the tokens and then finally displays the number of tokens in the java file okay so that's the reason i used a java file so if you have any java file in your system you can use it or you can use any other uh, file where it will count number of tokens and then display it on the screen now you can see two integer variables so first one is integer first integer variable is uh, token type which has been uh, declared as zero and then you have another uh, integer variable tokens equal to minus one okay so token type is used to check whether it is an end of file right once it becomes end of file then it, you ought to stop so you need to uh, store the tokens into the variable uh, token type and then once it reaches the final uh, that is end of the file it returns minus one so once it returns minus one you are going to check it with the in the while loop and then you are going to stop so the reason for using token type and tokens it is nothing but to count number of tokens available the reason for writing minus one is here we are going to use do while statement so once you put tokens plus plus it automatically starts with zero right so it already it it will increase the value before checking so you will get the tokens correctly okay there is a reason for writing minus one so now you got a do while loop in do while loop you can see token type equal to st dot next token so it will take the token one by one it starts counting that is it will take the tokens and store it into token type and immediately it will uh, count okay it's my from minus one it becomes zero okay first token has been stored now you are going to check while token type not equal to st dot tt eof so already we discussed in the previous slide that uh, tt eof is the uh, type of field available in stream tokenizer which will check for end of file okay normally uh, it is an integer type uh, field so it returns minus 1 if the uh, file is at the end that is you are going to after that is after uh, reading all the tokens when it reaches the file it returns that no more their tokens are available then it returns minus one so if it is e if it is equal to minus one then the while loop will stop and then uh, displays the tokens otherwise it keeps on executing the do while loop and keep on counting the tokens so you can also use for uh, different manipulation okay and uh, then that we will uh, see it in another video here you can see after completing the while loop do while loop you are going to display the number of tokens and then you are going to display it on the screen so the output will be similar it will be a numeric value the number of tokens is uh, displayed it may be 99 or it may be uh, 102 like that so it displaces on the screen that's it nothing else will be displayed on the screen so hope you understood this video we will meet in the next video till then thank you